Hey guys, welcome to the weekly tarot forecast for the Numinous week beginning September the 9th. I'm Lindsay Mack and the card that I've pulled for us is the tower. So of course the tower is here this week. Of course it is. Jupiter has gone into Libra. We just had a new moon eclipse. It is eclipse season. Times are, we're in Mercury retrograde, of course. Times are really potent. The tower is a very, very helpful ally for us this month. Very helpful. If you worked at the new moon eclipse last week, it was the perfect time to really do some deep releasing work around what you don't want in your life anymore and a very equally powerful time to plant seeds for the new, for what you actually want to grow and have come into your life. So whether you did that work at the new moon or not, Tower is basically giving us a little bit of a second chance to do that this week because it's functioning as the same kind of potent um, eclipse, new moon, brand new beginning, void time energy that we've been really in the last week especially, but a few weeks for some of us. So <clears throat> how to work with this card. The first thing is to not be afraid of it. The tower really only comes to help. It's really uh, a wonderful card and the only part of us that it really shakes up is the ego. And usually the parts of our ego that are very, very, very gripped for our survival in a way that is no longer necessary. So tune in with that for yourself for a moment. You may be very aware of it right off the bat. What parts of your brain, your body, your behavior, your habits, and your functions are you still staying in the same cycle with? Are they because you want to look a certain way? Are they because a certain way of acting or being or perceiving the world is very helpful to you? Does it keep back your anxiety? Are you staying stuck in a cycle of victimhood? Are you still engaging with the same kind of abusive partners or the same shitty parent? Whatever it might be, you want to really look at square in the eye this month, especially this week, obviously with Tower. And you want to be able to release it. And Tower is going to make it really easy, actually, even very deep seated things to release whatever is, is ready to go this week. So the thing about Tower is that it's Saturn's card. It's really this energy that sweeps away, sweeps up any old structures that are not serving us. So again, that might be an old habit, it might be an old way of thinking of what you want. And the tower comes in essentially to sweep away distractions so we can be firmly and squarely on our soul path. There aren't too many specifics in terms of working with this card this week. It's going to be a very mm, light energy is not quite the way I want to describe it, but it'll be not crushing, certainly, more medicinal and clarifying and deeply awakening. You know, last week we were in that card, Awakening Reverse, which is uh, also known as the Judgment card. It's really important to understand that we're going through a time that is a portal. It is an initiation. There is no going back. We have to wake up. There is no choice. So for some of us, that starts with being really honest with ourselves, what we want, how we feel, and what truth we're willing to release into the world. How willing are you to live the path that you know is right for you? How willing are you to release people that don't serve you anymore? How willing are you to step forward? Probably the more scared you are, the more, um, the deeper the promise at the end of the rainbow, so to speak. And as someone who's lived through a couple of pretty devastating towers, I can tell you that they're definitely the best things that ever happened to me. So this week we're continuing that kind of huge energetic, huge evolutionary shift to really honor this time of identifying, inquiring, going within and asking ourselves very bluntly, very plainly, where am I 
unaware? Where am I not awake about some part of my actions? And where can I release that in order to plant the new, in order to step onto the path that I'm meant to be on? Again, there is zero speculation. The tower is gonna to work differently for every single person. It's a really gentle, but very uh, potent, very pointed eye-opening so that you can see and that you can take responsible and appropriate action. Now, for any of you who might be nervous about tower, this doesn't necessarily mean a disaster. This is not a disaster card. It's an awakening card. So we're continuing on that theme this week. Use the energy of this time to really, really finally drop into complete truth with yourself. It doesn't mean being more aggressive. It doesn't mean being more pointed. It doesn't mean fighting. It means releasing, laying down, surrendering, being willing to try a different way. Really look at it with a lot of compassion and curiosity this week. See how it seeps into your week. Again, it's going to be very different for everybody. Just um, almost like a nature watcher, like watching a little bird or a rabbit in the grass. Hang out. You know, be still, watch it, and see where it comes in and what it's here to do for you. Because it's not just to fuck you up. It's really here to offer you something. But we have to get still and quiet and clear enough in our bodies and ourselves to see how. So, I hope that is helpful, and I will see you guys next week. Okay, bye-bye.